Welcome back to another episode of English Cooking, where I teach you English through cooking. Guys, today we're going to make one of the most common breakfast foods here in, in Canada and other Western countries. Okay, and it's uh, called hash browns. Have you ever had hash browns? Do you love hash browns? Now, this is one of the most common foods you would, like people would eat for breakfast at restaurants. They don't really eat this at home. Let me know, do you eat hash browns at home? Now, the reason they don't eat it at home is because it just takes too much time to make. Right, I mean, if you want to make hash browns, like what is hash browns? Hash browns are potatoes. All right, so I have three different styles of hash browns here, okay? The reason people don't, like, eat hash browns at home much, although you can buy them in bags, right? I bought these at Walmart. So maybe some people eat them, but the main reason I think, in my experience, people don't really eat hash browns at home is just because it takes... It takes too long to make. I mean, even for these, like you have to bake. Okay, so I'll just explain the three different kinds here. So we have, we have this kind. So these are called uh, hash brown potato patties. Okay, so this form of hash brown is like you could call that a patty, a patty. Okay, or maybe a cake, a little hash brown cake. Okay, so it comes in this style. Now with this you bake. So I'm just preheating my oven right now. So we're gonna bake these. Um, and here, did you hear my oven? It beeped, that means it's preheated. All right, so um, look at this. It says country style diced hash brown potatoes. All right, country style diced. Okay, so uh, let me just grab my scissors here. We'll open this up so you can see. Scissors are useless, guys. All right, so we're just gonna see what these really look like in real life, all right? So I'll grab a few here. So that's what that's what it means, right? Diced. So it's kind of like little cubes, right? Um, so yeah, that's a very common style of, of hash brown. Now, another common style that you find, especially in restaurants. I mean, look at that nice plate there. Look at the cover there. Look at that nice plate. You got some sausages there, some fried eggs there, and some some hash browns. Now this style is called shredded, shredded hash browns. See, it says that right there. Shredded hash browns. Okay, so let me just open it up so you can kind of get a get a real life look at what these are like. So okay, you can just see it's kind of like. Uh, it's almost like shredded cheese, right? So that's what shredded means. It's like just like shreds, <laughs> little shreds of uh, of potato. Okay, so you have the three different styles. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna take to make these. These are gonna be fried. We're gonna fry these and these. So maybe it wouldn't take someone that long to to make, especially these kind where you just fry them. But you know, most people don't spend much time making breakfast, right? Let me know down in the comments, how much time do you spend every morning making breakfast? You know, probably most people just spend like two minutes, right? You, you fry some eggs or you, you have some cereal, right? Cereal is probably the most common breakfast food here in the West because you just have a bowl, you dump your cereal, Fruit Loops or shreddies or whatever you want to eat, you dump them into the bowl, you add milk, you eat them, run out the door for work, right? It takes like two minutes, right? If you want to make hash browns from scratch, you would have to buy the potatoes and like dice the potatoes and then boil them and then fry them because you can't just fry potatoes. Right, it just take a long time because potatoes are too hard, right? You need to boil them first to soften them up a bit and then you fry them. So it's just too much work. That's why 
I don't know if I've ever been to someone's house where they've made hash browns for breakfast from scratch. But like I said, maybe some people buy these. I never do. I just bought these for the video to teach you guys about Western food, right? It's part of my English cooking show. So that's, that's where you guys came today. So we're going to, uh, let's start by putting our potato patties into this little glass pan here. So let's put, oh, let's see, can I fit, guys, I can only fit three. <laughs> I can only fit three patties in here. Oh, that's all right, we'll just make three. All right, so we're just gonna pop these in the oven for, I think, about 10 minutes, and then uh, might have to uh, flip them. I'll just get my flipper here, get this ready. You can call this a flipper or a spatula. All right, so um, the next ones we're gonna fry, okay? So we're gonna fry, got my pan here. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil into the pan. So guys, let me know, which do you think you would like the best? Which style of hash browns? Would you like the shredded, the shredded ones? I think I might like, I might like the shredded ones. You know, that's kind of, kind of awesome, eh? Yeah, so the shredded ones, or would you like the the diced ones? These guys, the diced hash browns, or would you like the patties? You know, if you go to uh, fast food restaurants, like McDonald's or, I don't know, does, do, does McDonald's have hash browns? I think most, most fast food breakfast places uh, would would have hash browns in the patty, I think in the patty form, right? So what we just put into the oven, like if you were to go to McDonald's or a and I think, or some, one of those fast food restaurants, and you order breakfast with, with hash browns, I think it would come in the patty form. Um, and if you go to more of like a sit-down restaurant, like uh, Denny's, Denny's is a famous breakfast restaurant, right? I think the I think the hash browns would come probably in either diced or shredded. Okay, so we're gonna I should add a bit more here. Are you hungry today? Let me know if you're hungry. How many? How much you would like to eat? I wonder if we can cook these together. Probably the diced ones take longer to cook, eh? I didn't read the instructions, but uh, guys. Let's just wing it. If you wing it, it means you just just try it as you go, right? You don't prepare for it. So we're just gonna put this on the stove here. All right, medium heat. How does that sound? Don't know if we're supposed to do that, but uh, so guys, potatoes. Let's talk about potatoes. Do you eat potatoes in your country? You know what's kind of funny is that a lot of people in Asian countries like China or, you know, I don't know, Vietnam or those places, I think they eat rice for breakfast. Now, in, in Canada here, rice is not a breakfast food at all. I don't know anybody who eats rice for breakfast. A rice would be like not even a lunch food here. You know, people... Like for lunch, they would eat maybe like a sandwich, but it, it would be like a, a supper food, a dinner food. Let's say you're having a big, a big meal. Usually the last meal of the day, dinner, supper, that's, that's the biggest meal. That's the meal people put some time into preparing, right? Like I said, for breakfast, you don't have time. You're ready late for work. So you just, you know, scarf down a bowl of cereal to scarf down means to eat something really fast, right? So you scarf down your cereal, you run out the door, you go to work. And then for lunch, you might, you might buy some fast food or you might have a sandwich or, you know, some, something just light like that. And then you come home from work and that's when you might take 20 minutes or half an hour to prepare something. You might cook some rice. Um, you might throw a steak on the barbecue you might uh, you know, cook something a little bit nice. Thai green curry 
for example, or some you know, Indian butter chicken or something like that. Right, so that's when we would eat rice. But it's funny that, because when I lived in China, I lived in China for over a year, and uh, the breakfast foods, people don't eat Western breakfasts there. Like milk, you know, milk is, is, is a very, um, a staple for breakfast here in our, our society. Sta if something is a staple food, it's like a, it's just what you eat at almost every meal. You can hear my hash brown starting to cook. So, um, what's a staple food in your country? You know, here in, for breakfast, milk is the staple. Like you, you like I said, cereal and milk, <clears throat> or like fried eggs, and you might have a glass of milk or something like that. But over in China, people didn't really drink much milk. Although I think that trend might be changing. Um, <clears throat> but, you know what people would eat? These steam buns. So every time when I'd walk to the school where I was teaching at, I'd go to <laughs> this little, like, shop that would sell these like steam buns with like vegetables. It's just like a bun, a steamed bun with like vegetables or, or meat inside. Now meat is something most people don't eat for, for breakfast on a normal basis here in Canada or the US. Although if you go to a restaurant, again, it's, it's almost, uh, guaranteed that you're going to eat some meat. You might have bacon, you might have uh, sausages, right? Or you might even have steak for breakfast. People sometimes do that too, steak and eggs for breakfast. But just at home, most people don't eat a meat for breakfast. Maybe some people fry bacon, but even frying bacon, it takes too long, right? You have to take the bacon out of the fridge. You have to put the bacon in the pan. You got to fry it for maybe five minutes. Five ten minutes, right? It's just that it takes too long, and and most people in our society are rushed in the morning. They're trying to get their kids out out of the door for school. They got to catch the school bus. You know, the parents have to go off to work, or they're just it's a very rushed time. So they don't have time to fry bacon or fry sausages or whatever, hash browns that kind of stuff. So they just eat cereal. But over in China, the steam buns, it was just a it was a it was a weird you know, cultural difference where I, I never, I like those steam buns. They were good. They were cheap, right? I we just grabbed two, two or three steam buns on my way to school and I'd eat them while I was walking. They had like, I'd always get like the vegetable ones where like there's like some mushrooms or some, I don't know, mixed vegetable, but they would also have pork steam buns. So eating, eating that kind of stuff for breakfast, it was weird. I mean, it was good. I liked it, but just it just feels weird to eat like a meat steam bun or vegetable steam bun for breakfast. Again, vegetables are not seen as a breakfast food here, but potatoes are. So potato, potatoes are the only vegetable that people eat for breakfast here. I've never met anybody who eats broccoli or I don't know, what other, what other vegetable would people eat? For breakfast, not, not nothing. I mean, maybe mush. Maybe if they were like making an omelet, right? Let's say you're making an omelet and you put some some you know green onions, some uh, some tomatoes, onions, garlic. Yeah, you might make. But again, how long does it take? To, it takes a long time to make an omelet. If you're gonna make a nice omelet, it's gonna take you at least like 15 minutes. Right, so people don't have that kind of time. I never make omelets. Do you, I like omelets, but I just never make them. Do you make omelets? What do you eat for breakfast? Let me know. I'm kind of curious. Let me know which country you're from and what you eat for breakfast. Because these, it's. I think breakfast food is the most culturally different. That's why I'm talking about breakfast. Like if you go to China and you, you know, yeah, their lunch foods and their, you know, supper foods are different as well. But there, it's not as different, right? You might have rice and some kind of like chicken dish or something like that. Well, same here in Canada. You have rice and chicken. Maybe the spices are a little bit different. Maybe the the way they cook it is a little bit different. But but you know, it's not weird. The weird one is breakfast. That is just weird. Even like I've lived in Germany as well. 
and uh, I've lived in different places. India, it's funny how the breakfast foods are different. Now, I love Indian breakfasts. They have like the chai, the hot cup of chai. And, uh, you know, a lot of Indians will say without their cup of chai, they just can't even function in the morning, right? So, um, yeah, so chai and the paratas, the, uh, you know, the, like the, the, the little, like the pancake, the, it's almost like a little pancake, pancake thing that you like dip into your chai and you have the fried eggs. I love Indian breakfast, guys. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, let's check on our, check on our... Ooh, coming along pretty nice. Let's just check these here. So I don't know if you can see them in the pan, but so the the shredded ones are kind of clumping up a little bit. If something clumps up, it kind of like kind of kind of you know goes like that. It's called to clump up. So uh, you know we'll just kind of that's all right if they're clumped up, right? It's just the uh, Okay, go there and we'll check on our, ooh, I think it's time to flip our, just grab my oven mitt. This is called an oven mitt, and this is called a pot holder. Kind of the same idea, right? Oven mitt, ov oven mitt, pot holder, all right. All right, guys, so there they are. Um, Let's use our spatula to flip them. Hmm. Maybe that. Well, maybe I didn't wait long enough. It's uh, it's not looking very brown yet. But uh, it's okay. We'll wait about another five, ten minutes, and they should be good as gold. All right. So. All right. We're just gonna. Toss them around a little bit. I think they're looking good, guys. Now, what do people eat with their hash browns? So, uh, they most people put ketchup on their hash browns. Let me know, do you like eating, you know, ketchup with your hash browns? The thing is, like, like hash browns are kind of like french fries. It's basically a fried potato. It just looks a little bit different, right? Those are potatoes. French fries are potatoes. French fries are long. These are shredded or or diced right but they're both fried now french fries are usually deep fried so if you go to mcdonald's you know you see them they've got the basket with all the frozen fries they just they dunk them in the big you know thing of oil that's called deep frying now you could also deep fry these guys here now the reason people deep fry food is because deep frying kind of helps to preserve the shape of the the thing right so if I were to take one of these patties and if I were to try to fry it like in the pan I could do that the thing is it would probably kind of fall apart and it wouldn't look very good it wouldn't preserve its shape like that right so baking is good for these guys or deep frying but for those kind of uh, you know shredded or or diced ones the the shape doesn't matter that much, right? We're not going to lose any sleep over it if the uh, the diced hash browns get a bit, a little bit soggy or a bit like, I mean, I think we're doing good so far. I mean, they they preserve their shape pretty good, like, ow, it's hot. All right, so there we go, guys. Let's just get the ketchup. So I like to eat hash browns with ketchup. Let me know, do you like to eat hash browns with ketchup? Let's just let me grab a plate here. I'll grab the ketchup and then uh, we'll, we'll dig in. All right, so we got our ketchup. Almost out of ketchup, guys. There's still enough in there, I think. Got my plate, with my golden fork, pure gold fork. It's not pure gold, I lied. Don't break into my house and steal my fork. It's my favorite fork. All right, so these are looking pretty good, guys. Oh, guys, I just about lost them all. All right, so we're just gonna put them in here. Ooh, and we got some table ones as extras. Remember to turn off the stove. Guys, we got some on the side. Kind of a nice, nice 
display here of hash browns on the side of the plate. Sometimes you want to serve them in the plate. Sometimes you want to serve them on the side of the plate. So we've got these. Oh, look at that, guys. Wow, those are looking delicious. A combination of the shredded and the diced. Now we're going to add the patty. Okay, just grab my few stragglers. Straggler. <laughs> the word straggler is like something that kind of like got left behind the pack, right? So I'm at my like most of the, the hash browns are here, but some of them kind of fell out of the plate. And they like, so if it's like, let's say a hash browns over here, I could call this one like a straggler. It's kind of left behind, right? It's not part of the pack, right? So we're going to turn off our oven and we are going to get our oven mitt again. Take out the patties. All right. Look at that, guys. They're looking good. We're just going to dump them out here. Oh, yes. Hash brown delight. Look at this, guys. Three different kinds of hash browns. Did you know what you were getting yourself in for today with this video? Three different kinds of hash browns. This is going to be so delicious. Let's, before we dig in, let's put on a squirt of ketchup here. Oh, wow, look at that. Let's put on a lot of ketchup. Now guys, let's just dig in. What do you want first? I'll give you the first bite. If you want the first bite of ketchup, you can have the first lick of ketchup. Mmm, ketchup. All right, guys. <clears throat> So here we go. Let's cut this patty in half and give you, oh, it's struggling to get it here, guys. All right, there it is, guys. The first bite of hash brown patty. Wow, is it good? Hope it's good. That's great, guys. Wow. What a breakfast. This is a real treat. It's more like brunch. I think it's about 2 p.m. out here, so it's a late brunch for me. I've also heard the term, have you heard the term lupper? You know, brunch is a combination between breakfast and lunch, right? Brunch. I've also heard sometimes people use the word lupper for a combination between lunch and supper. Lupper. Or if you would call it dinner, it would be liner. Liner? I've never heard that. Anyway, so guys, welcome to my 2 p.m. breakfast here in Calgary, Alberta. Man, let's get some shredded ones, guys. Ooh, those ones look good. Mmm, man, those are great. Man. They're nice and crispy. Do you like crispy? You know, like if you're ordering hash browns or bacon or that kind of stuff, do you like it crispy or soft? I love I love crispy hash browns. Man. And the nice thing about those shredded ones is they cook fast and they can get kind of nice and crispy. I think that's maybe why why shredded hash browns were invented. Because you can cook them really fast. And they, they kind of have that nice crispy, you can, you can get that crispy kind of texture really quickly, right? You just throw them in the pan. So I think maybe in the future, if I buy hash browns like this, I think I'm just going to buy the shredded ones. They taste awesome. Man, guys, I wish I could give you guys some, some hash browns in real life. Shredded ones, those crispy ones, just listen to that. Mmm. Man, those are good. Well, guys, there you have it. Now, most of the time, people don't just eat hash browns like I'm doing. I just wanted to show you the three different styles. If you come to a restaurant here in Canada and you order a breakfast, it's going to look something more like this, where you have coffee, you have your sausages, you have your maybe bacon, eggs, maybe a pancake or two pancakes. 
I mean, that would be a huge breakfast, guys, with meat, pancakes, bacon, eggs, hash browns. That's, that would be a huge breakfast. But I just wanted to show you and talk about a common breakfast food, guys. I'd be interested to know, what, what do you eat for breakfast every day? Let me know in the comments. I'm kind of curious because sometimes I've known you guys for a long time. You leave your comments down there. So let me know something about your personal life. What do you eat for breakfast every day? So guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Hope you learned something about hash browns, the three different kinds of hash browns. And hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying healthy, happy, safe. And as always, guys, I love you so much. And I will see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.